If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Well, I can tell you what's not good. My mood right now, guys, I, uh, yesterday, you'll notice that I did not post, and, um, this is actually yesterday. With the time you're seeing this, it's Friday, but uh, I'm referring to Thursday. The time I'm recording this, it is Thursday, and um, I'm pretty pissed off. You know, I waited around all freaking day for the mail to run because I got to wait on the mail in order to, you know, get the stuff to film for you guys. And I thought for sure that my Undisputed Era and my entrance Grace Goldberg were going to show up today and I was going to post the review of the Undisputed Era. Well, guess what, Brad? It didn't show up! <laughs> Saying you'd rather work mornings? So now I got two other packages and I just ripped them open. I didn't even care. I didn't even care. I just wanted my Undisputed Era and my Entrance Greats Goldberg. And you know what, Brad? You didn't get them today. Why? Why? I did not receive them, so I got this Hall of Champions Batista right here, which is a great figure. I picked this up in a trade, and um, who did we get this from? Let's go ahead and check it out. We got it from Miguel Hernandez, so shout out to Miguel Hernandez for sending us this. I believe it is a trade. I can't freaking remember, guys. I'm just really hot right now. I really wanted my freaking Undisputed Era and my Entrance Grace Goldberg, but it's not here yet, so uh, we're just going to do this. Maybe, maybe later on today, I'll post the Undisputed Era review. And it'll be a much better day. But, um, yeah, Batista. got Hall of Champions Batista. And then I got a package from my boy GJL Wrestling on Instagram. You guys should go give him a follow. Um, he's a really cool guy. You know, he sent us that massive box that we got last week or a few days ago, whichever one that was. So, yeah, GJL Wrestling. Go give him a follow. He sent us this. And I'm sorry that My Damn Halls isn't going to be very uh, good today as far as, uh, you know, with the memes and the freaking just interruptions and the trusty knife. The trusty knife um, is, uh, I'm afraid to put the trusty knife in my hand right now. I may just go to swinging it everywhere. Um, but anyways, we do have this baggie right here. He sent us some good stuff that I'm excited. Get off of me, you stupid tape. So we got the tape on there. Get it off. Open this up. He did send us a note right here. I'll go ahead and read the note now and um, hopefully not take my anger out on anybody. But uh, let's open this up. He does have a uh, some artwork right there. I'll put this in the fan mail. It says, My Damn Toys. It says, Ignore that foul. Fail? Ignore that fail. Left my ass off. MDT logo right there. Um, he says right here, Hey, My Damn Toys, I'm really glad you enjoy that huge haul box. Yes, I did. It was incredible. Way better than the Undisputed Era pack that I didn't receive today. Also, in advice, I can't thank you enough for going to make me a custom Kenny Omega for me. I don't have PayPal set up yet, so it's hard for me to buy any customs on eBay, but I'm really grateful for you doing this for me. I hope you enjoy Hall of Champions Batista and Red Shawn Michaels. I'm super excited to see what customs you make out of them in your collection. Thanks again from GJL Wrestling. Return address for Custom Kenny Omega down below there, and I probably put that on camera. I'll have to blur that out if I did. But uh, you guys heard what he said. Uh, we'll take a look at the figures he sent us right here. So we do have two Hall of Champions Batistas in this video. Um, you guys know that I was looking for some uh, Batista figures, and now I have two Hall of Champions ones, and I'm going to be making customs out of both of these guys. Really good bases for uh, classic Batistas, you know, ruthless aggression style. So I'll be making probably a Vengeance 2005, you know, the white attire like this, and then I'm probably going to do Great American Bash 2006. Really like both of those attires. We could change it up, though. I'm not sure. Uh, but those are two Hall of Champions Batistas. And then over here, we have the WrestleMania 30 Heritage Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 14 where he fought Stone Cold Steve Austin. And would you look at that figure right there, guys? I have never owned this figure before. So there it is in the flesh, and I'm so happy to have this Shawn Michaels figure. I literally have never owned this, so this is so cool. I love this figure to death. Great head scan on there. Great attire in the red with the uh, DXs and the hearts going all over it. Just D D Generation HBK right there. Joints feel good and stuff. It is a little bit hot because I just got it out of the mail, you know, so it's been roasted in the mailbox. So, yeah, so we do have that HBK to go with Hall of Champions Batista. And then he sent us some parts to make a Kenny Omega. So we'll go ahead and look at these, make sure they're all good and uh, that I can actually use these. Um, let's see what he sent here. So we do have, oh, it's got some moisture on there somehow. But it has some moisture on there. It is the Macho Man Elite, and this is a great base for Kenny Omega. So we do have that. And let's see what other parts he threw in here. 
go ahead and get this out. He sent us some regular knee pads, you know, the smaller knee pads. This is a good Kenny Omega knee pads. We have the head scan. I guess he just wants me to use the DDP head. That works for me. That will totally work fine. And then we have CM Punk kick pads for, uh, you know, to pop on the Macho Man. So that's probably going to make Kenny a bit too tall, but I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. I've never seen these CM Punk kick pads in person before, so they look really nice. I really want this figure. I think it's the uh, best of pay-per-view with the urn and the shaved head Punk from WrestleMania. And this is such a sick colorway. I would love to have that figure for real. If you guys have that CM Punk, I've been trying to track that thing down forever, but um, this should work for a Kenny Omega. We plug the plug, it, plug that in right there, put the little knee pads on there, acetone it all off. Yeah, it should be really, really easy to do. So uh, thank you so much for those figures, bro. I cannot believe I finally have that Shawn Michaels and uh, more Batista customs to make. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today because, um, yeah, I, th I thought we were getting, you know, Undisputed Era yesterday and um uh hopefully they come today today again you're seeing this on friday morning i'm in the flesh of thursday afternoon and we didn't get any undisputed era entrance greats so hopefully i can post that undisputed era on friday afternoon you guys will see that around 4 to 5 p.m if it does arrive but if it doesn't, then I don't know when you guys will say it. You'll see it as soon as it arrives because I'm really excited to review that set. I've been waiting on that set forever, which does suck, though, because Adam Cole makes an appearance on MDT Sold Out, and I've already filmed all the segments with Adam Cole in it, so the new Adam Cole figure will not be on the show because, you know, Adam Cole sits at ringside for Miz versus Kevin Owens, and that match is long gone now, so um, hopefully he'll make I don't know. We'll see. I may refilm all the parts he's in it. We, we don't know yet, but... Thanks to everybody who sent us figures today. Again, GJL Wrestling, thank you so much, bro, for the nice note and the figures. And I'll get started on Kenny Omega as soon as possible. But that pretty much does it for this episode of My Damn Halls. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. Uh, again, I apologize that, you know, today's episode or today's video wasn't very cheerful or anything but uh, hopefully you guys got a kick out of my anger and my sorrow so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you